The days start early in the small town of Webster, Florida. Particularly at the Sumter County Farmers Market and the livestock facility located there. And today is no different with the 2022 Sumter County Youth Bread Heifer Expo and Sale starting today. This two-day event is the culmination of months of hard work by kids between the ages of 8 and 18 and their families. Day one begins with the arrival of the heifers that are transported in and sorted into their separate pens. A quick pregnancy test is conducted to ensure the heifers meet the criteria to be entered into the competition. Come on, baby. For the kids, the idea to compete began more than a year ago when these animals were born. And right from the start, the kids take charge managing the heifer's welfare and upbringing, which takes place after the animals are weaned. Expo chairperson Jessica Davis, who co-founded the expo and is also a mother to three competitors, says the kids are the ones accountable in raising the heifers. They were tagged in as like 600 pound calves back in October last year. So after that, the kids are pretty much just responsible for feeding them and making sure they get bred and growing them and taking care of them and stuff. We're going to ask you a few questions about your project. How the kids take care of the heifers is just one of the areas the competitors are judged on. On Friday, while the heifers are being judged, each participant is tested in meetings with three judges fielding questions about how the animals were raised, including proper feeding, health-related topics, and the differences between breeds. They also had the option to do demonstrations or a speech based on a beef-related topic. Ed Jennings with UF IFAS Extension Levy County has been one of these judges for several years and says he's always impressed with the competitors. I'm continually amazed at the knowledge that they have of the industry and their interest in it. And for me, honestly, it's just it's just a bunch of fun. You need to get them turned, you know, because you can't get the foot, you know, to look at them. Yes, sir. The last part of day one concludes with animal judging by industry professionals on just how well the heifers will fit into other herds. Three judges go from pen to pen, critiquing each animal's attributes, such as structure, fleshing ability, and trimester, and compare these heifers to others of the same breed. Since the event culminates with the sale of the cows, this analysis plays an important role in the final purchase. One of the judges, Aaron Jones, with UF IFAS Extension Suwannee County, says the animals are also being judged on their temperament. So I think disposition is probably a big factor that's played into our score um, because as youth are raising these heifers, they should be more, more calmer and uh, easier to handle than some heifers that might have come from larger herds. Day two starts bright and early with cattle ranchers from around the state showing up to participate in the auction. These young sellers stand with their competition posters, displaying photos and basic information about all their animals, meeting with potential buyers, and doing their best to describe the benefits of their heifers in hopes of getting the highest bid. From there, the buyers have a chance to view the cattle, seeing for themselves which animal they may want. Longtime cattleman and experienced buyer Jim Handley says the cows here are quality animals. The cattle are, are improving every year. These kids are doing a better job. Um, they're understanding what they're doing. They're putting together cattle that would uh, virtually fit uh, uh, a majority of the cattle ranches uh, throughout the state. Those top earning heifers were raised by possible future career cattle producers with the expo giving the competitors an inside look into life in the cattle industry and the reward and risks involved. Cattle producer and mother of one of the competitors, Rebecca Handley, says the industry needs competitions like this. Florida is growing. Being a cattle rancher is becoming even harder. It's harder to find land, it's harder to afford feed, afford fertilizer, but I'm hoping that with this opportunity, the kids will see the hard work that their parents, their grandparents, and past generations are putting in 
to being cattle ranchers and grow up wanting to keep this industry alive. Information is key for buyers looking to pick the right heifer at the right price. Once the potential buyers are finished looking at the animals, it's time for the big moment as the Expo's auction begins. The kids watch as their heifers are led in and then bid on. Some animals sell for thousands of dollars, which brings excitement to some young sellers. For others, it's a year's worth of hard work paying off. Regardless of the final outcome, every child comes away from the event with new skills learned, two days of fun, and an experience they will never forget. Not only is it fun, it's, uh, it's got a good amount of profit, I will say that, uh, and it's a learning experience. It's really, it's such an easy project and you learn so much from it. It's exceeded my expectations from what I thought it was going to be. It's so much better than what I thought it was going to be.